and welcome to another video on uh, uh, writing Alexa programs. Uh, I've need, had a requirement that I needed to send a, an email from an Alexa skill, so I thought I'd just uh, show you how to do this from Alexa. Uh, what we got? We've got, first of all, I'm using Google, so you need to set up go, your Google account to al allow this to happen. You have to get a password from Google to do it. So if you go to your account, you need to check that two-stage verification is on. And then if you click the app password, select mail and generate a password, then Google will give you a password that you can use in your, from your program. So you'll use your normal email address and this password to access it. Um, so we're going to use, you can use either SMTP, Lib or, and SSL, which is what we'll do. Or we can use email too, which is slightly simpler, but you can't. Don't think you can add attachments to it. Um, well, I'll just look at this one, SMTP, lib and SSL. I'll leave the document in this document. I'll leave it in GitHub and let you know where that is and leave the documentation about email too so you can try it for yourself. Uh, the Python code, here's some Python code to do it. We won't, we'll look at this in more detail, but if you just want to write a pro Python program, this is how you do it. But we really want to do it from Alexa. So I've started an Alexa hosted skill. Um, I'm doing all this in Python and I've used to start from scratch. First we'll send a header with some text and then we'll add an attachment. So just show you what we've got. Um, just pause this a minute because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to display. Yeah, there we are. So I've got uh, my Alexa skill up. I say it's an Alexa hosted skill and I've got, we've got some imports here. So we need to import SMTP, this for the MIME text. And I've imported credentials. I've mentioned that in a minute. And I've imported OS and BOTO3. That's for later on when we want to get an attachment. I've got a file that we're going to attach in an S3 bucket. So that's to access the S3 bucket. So I've created a credential of PI file which includes my sender email, my recipient email, and the password that's been generated by Gmail. Just That's just so you don't see any of my uh, personal details, really. And I've modified the launch request handler. So let's just check how I'm doing. So uh, that's the config. That's the imports. So that's the credentials, that's the imports, and this is the launch request here. So we'll do that. And I've changed the code already to do all that. I'll talk through that while I'm deploying the code. So our launch request handler, I've just changed the speak output so that Alexa says I've sent your email. I've set up a port 465, but in fact, I think down here I just use 465 anyway. And set up the SMTP server, it's the Gmail server that we need, and the sender, recipient, and passwords. So the message we're going to send, you're going to send a multi part message. You set an alternative that's going to send a text and an HTML. So not all browser email like display uh, apps uh, display both the HTML. So this will display the text alternative and include both of them. So I've got a multi subjects multipart message. I'm sending it from sender to the receiver. And here is the text version. Just some plain text. I'm just showing you a link to picture my cat and the HTML with a clickable link to Perkin. Now we need to convert those into plain and an HTML MIME text objects. We attach them to the message. So we've created the message here. And that's all we need to do. Um, we now need to send it. 
So we use SMTP lib, we use the Gmail server, the port number and the context which is here. And we log into the server and we send the email and we send it to, from and the message as a string. And that's it. So now we can check that that works. And I've done a build, I don't need to do a build. Let me test it works. And I've been here before, so I've set up the um, development environment and also recorded the fact that the invoke it by using send email. So I just called my my skill send email. So I can use it, do that and send the email. I've sent your email. And Alexa says she sent the email. So it'll take a bit of a while for it to uh, come through to us. Uh, my uh, Gmail account and I don't want you to see details. So I'll pause a minute again and come back when I've got it, everything set up. Okay, so we've received the message. I've actually done this twice, so that's why there's two of them here. Um, and I've hidden my details here, although I don't actually use this um, address that you see anyway. And here it is, here's our subject, multi-part message from Alexa. And here's the message, and I can click this if I want to, and it'll take me take into a picture of Perkin. So that's the first part of it. What we wanted to do, what I wanted to do, was send an attachment. So we'll do that next. I'll just uh, pause again and uh, set everything up for the uh, sending attachments. Right, I've just changed the uh, launch request so that it works, just save some time. So if we need to send a binary file as an attachment, they need to be encoded. We normally do that using page 64. I've uploaded a file to S3, which I'm going to read it from. It's a PDF document, just, a, just says a few words. Um, but we'll need the key to access that, which is media slash whatever your file name is, document.pdf. And we need the bucket name. You can find that by clicking the S3 tab and looking it up. But you can also get it from the code as well. So if you click it, you'll see this message here and your S, your S3 bucket number will be here. It's obviously associated only with this piece of code. Uh, you can also get it from your code, your code, by using import OS and getting the bucket name. If you want to see how that's done, you can just see the utils.py section. They use that to get the bucket name. So you've got the bucket name, so you don't need to copy and paste this long number. Okay, now we're going to use the Boto download file message to re read the file. Um, this accepts a bucket name, the object name, and a file name to save to. So our launch request now looks like this. This is all the same as we had before. Um, we're going to do some stuff with the email, so we need to import the encoders and some MIME part bits. And again, I've got a subject, a body, and sender, receiver emails, the password as before. Oh, this time I've just simply plain multi-part. I've only got one bit to it. I've not got the text and uh, HTML versions. Uh, I've showed you how to include a bind copy if you want to as well. And your body, you attach to the message. So it's done the MIME text we did before, converting it to a MIME text type format, and it's attached it to the message. So this, the body is just going to say, this is the body, this email has an attachment. Um, now we need to get the attachment itself. So we've got from UTEL, we're going to create pre-signed URL. You know, I don't know if we need that. I've uh, got the bucket name, I've got the object name, and we're going to download the file using a Boto3 S3 client. Um, I saved it in a temp file. You may not know that you've got a, a slash temp file where you can save things. 
I think when I first tried this, I just saved it and I was getting uh, right from prim permissions not allowed. So you can save it in your slash temp file. So we do the download from the bucket name. That's the object in the bucket and save it in the file name here. Once we've got it downloaded, we can convert the MIME base and attach the file to it. We encode the file. Oh, sorry. We encode the file. Uh, we add a header to it and include the attachment and attach the whole bit to it. So that is now attached. And we send the message just as we did before with server login and send me an email with the message as a string. So, and we'll get something like this. So we'll just do all that. I think I've done that. Uh, I can't remember whether I've deployed it. So I'll deploy it. We've done that while we were waiting. I don't like going to the test before it, making sure it's deployed correctly. Okay. And test. Open my launch request. And again, it sent my email, right? So what we'll do is we'll pause again and just wait for that. And in fact, they came through quite quickly that time. Um, obviously, it depends on how busy Google servers are. And we've got our email with attachment from Alexa. And we've got a blind copy as well. So that's what. here's our body and here's the attachment. And just like a normal email now, I can download that. And download that temp document .pdf. and if I open that up here's your PDF file that's all it was it's not a text file it was a PDF file as you can see here um, so I think that's everything so we can see how to do all that um, you can also use email I think it should be an underscore um, well, email two um, this uses port 587 it, much simpler to send emails but you can't I don't think you can send attachments with it I'll leave the documentation there I shan't bother going through that now but you will need to add it to your requirement.txt and import it so I think that's all um, again I hope that's been useful to you I'll put all this in available on my github and on my youtube channel so enjoy